All right, here we are. Episode two, huh? Check one, check two. All right. I am really, really fucking tired. Um, to say the least, uh, I haven't gotten the sleep that I needed in the past like two days at least. Um, I don't know, it's just been, it's been hectic, man. So if you like, if I'm out here yawning or, you know, I seem out of it, just know that it's because I haven't slept in a while. So, you know, it is what it is though. Last night, I tried popping like fucking, I think like four melatonin gummies. You're only supposed to take like two or three or whatever, but I took four and um, yeah, did not help. Didn't, didn't didn't really knock me out. I I think I might have slept because I definitely dreamt something, but you know, it, it very well could have been like just a daydream. It kind of felt that way, but um, we're gonna get through this, and you know, we're gonna have some fun along the way. So let's just get into it, right? Um, last episode, I believe I had talked about wanting to talk about music, right? And I think I'm just going to do th just that. Because in recent news, um, Slipknot. There's this band by the name of Slipknot, right? They're one of the largest heavy metal bands in the United States currently. And they're about to drop like a new album or whatever. But I've been seeing a lot of their fans are turning against them. As most, um, you know, older artists tend to have, you know, that issue where it's like a lot of the, 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 the newer fans or whatever are just like complaining about, oh, it, you know, this isn't, your new music doesn't sound like the old one, blah, blah, blah. And bro, like I get it, Iowa was a great fucking album. It really was. I think it's still Slipknot's best like album. But there's no like controlling uh, other people to create the art that you want, you know. Um, Slipknot, they're gonna do whatever Slipknot the fuck, you know, whatever they want to do, and there's not much that we can do about it, you know. If Corey Taylor wants to sing his weird heavy metal ballads and croon all he wants, that's fine. You know, some some of the some of the newer Slipknot songs aren't even that bad, whatsoever. Um, but you know, you can't expect artists to to stay the same all the time, right? Or to always be for you, right? Um, you know, at some point we're all gonna get a new Craig Jones, <laughs> right? Um, if you if you know anything about the Slipknot drama that's going on right now, it's that. Uh, not only are they releasing a new album with different sounds or whatever, but they recently got rid of the the keyboardist, Craig Jones, um, and are replacing him with some other guy, you know? And it's like, really, I think, you know, I'm open to, to new soundscapes, new, like, different things with my Slipknot, right? You know, we've gotten the same Slipknot for the past, like, 10 years, I'd say. Yeah. Um, so I think it's about time that, you know, something, at least something is changing, right? Even if it's not anything that I personally care about, but, um, you know, I see the same type of, uh, the same type of conflict going on between, like, let's say Eminem fans, right? Where it's like, oh, he's not the same as he used to be. He's just not as good, la, la, la. And I get it. You know, like, I, 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 I grew up on Eminem, right? Uh, back in middle school, I used to listen to a fuck ton of Eminem. It was always, uh, it was always like the, 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 the good Eminem, you know, the lyrical fucking God that he is back when he was, uh, making Slim Shady. I think it was the Slim Shady LP EP and the Marshall Mathers LP. And I thought those were like, like so cool or whatever, but you know, it was a different time. It was like, I, I, at the time I listened to a lot more rock, right? I would listen to like Linkin Park, Metallica, of course, um, 
Green Day uh, at the time. Actually, I think it was like a lot more alt rock type of stuff. You know, maybe even punk if you want to call it. But uh, yeah, so you know, hip hop wasn't even it wasn't even like a part of my thoughts or whatever. But Eminem, of course, he, he kind of resonated with me because I was an angry kid. You know, <laughs> uh, I had a lot to be angry about. And yeah, you know, I feel like a lot of the times it was, um, it was me kind of having like this very goth mentality, you know, where it was like I was cynical, I was very pessimistic. And I, I kind of blame society over it, like for all of my problems. And, you know, at the time I felt like I, I had all the reason to, um, because society had continually disappointed me every fucking step of the way. But, um, you know, as I grew up and sort of expanded my horizons, not only musically, but, um, you know, just in general, you know, with meeting new people and allowing myself to, to be a beginner again and again and again and again. Um, it sort of allowed me to see that, you know, my old ways of thinking were, were very, I guess, misguided, right? And it, it sort of, it sort of shifted my, my way of thinking from something that's closer to like a goth type of thing to something that's more enlightened. Um, uh, I, I'm just going to say like spiritual for lack of a better term, you know? It's something that's based around love and around forgiveness and around, you know, understanding. And, you know, I feel like the world can use a lot more understanding, especially of each other, because the less we understand each other, the more divided we become, right? Um, so, yeah, I, you know, I kind of, I, I understand where a lot of the Slipknot fans are coming from when they say like, oh, it's not like the old shit. Yeah, it's not. There's a, there's plenty of fucking artists that aren't ever gonna be like the old versions of themselves, and you know that's something that we kind of have to understand and live with, right? Um, you know, of course I miss the old Eminem, but the new Eminem definitely not for me. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it's like he has the same like Eminem mannerisms as like the older version of himself, right? But yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like just cranked up, like a, by a ton, and sort of like over exaggerated by him in like this very cringy way, in my opinion. But there's nothing I can do about that. That I can't force anyone to be someone they're not. And if that's what he is, and if that's how he chooses to express himself, well, fuck. Yeah, I can have my judgments, but. I guess like being hateful on the internet isn't gonna fucking help that <laughs> right like I don't know what people expect from their fucking comments or what they expect from being like a bunch of fucking incels I don't know but all I can do is really just be uh, a little more understanding of other people and how you know their shadiness isn't necessarily their fault you know and i think that's that's something that we can all take a take a little note from you know people's shittiness isn't always their fault there's other people in their lives that can very well influence them and you know we have to understand that not everyone has our knowledge and our level of of empathy of understanding of whatever right so you know uh, going back on on that on this like this kind of a uh, perspective shift right i believe they call it paradigm shift um my relationship with rock music has definitely undergone like this huge i guess like like change right whereas like before you know i kind of listened to to a lot of rock music um as ways to to cope right or to, to block out the noise to escape almost and you know, that was what rock music was for me uh, when I needed it to be that. But nowadays, like, I, I listen to a lot of, like, uh, honestly, like, heavier stuff than I ever listened to before. But 
now it's it's sort of changed right it, it, it's sort of turned into more like a like an energy pill you know like sometimes i'll wake up in the morning and i'm just not not feeling it i'm just fucking i feel like like a dim candle or something and then i put on like heavy metal let's say i put on lamb of god and it just it empowers me almost it makes me just remember who the fuck i am and you know it gets me going it, it gets me going it charges me up for the rest of my day and you know i think that's i think that's just a beautiful testament to to how you know music not only allows us to um open up to our emotions right but it allows an opportunity to understand new perspectives right especially if you know if you're someone who who's able to um listen to different genres of music even if they're not in like your world or reality but still enjoy it you know still find some sort of form of enjoyment in that i think that allows you um an even greater opportunity to to accept new perspectives and grow as a person right so uh you know for example um i told you how i used to listen to a lot of eminem right as a rocker uh you know that was like the most hip-hop i would ever listen to and um i think like around let's say like high school or whatever i started listening to, to soundcloud rap because of that and then from there i kind of i you know that was a lot more like sad boy shit um or even like angry hype shit doesn't matter but that middle ground between you know rock and hip-hop has sort of helped me sort of acted like a bridge to help me get to let's say like trap music right i've been really into trap music lately listening to a lot of future um if you want to consider him trap playboy cardi um bash for the world is another artist who i've been like really fucking with lately black sam dude later on i'm gonna put a bunch of artists in like the description of the video but uh yeah um you know, it, it allowed me to bridge that gap and get to trap music and sort of understand a perspective that that maybe wasn't so serious, right? Because I feel like if you're someone who was like me, who was like, I was listening to rock music, listening to like, like the lyrical rap type shit, like, don't get me wrong, there's value in that, especially, you know, if you're, you are going through it. And, um, and especially if you do get tired of whatever's popular right now which is you know who, who the fuck knows um but you know trap for me is kind of it's sort of like allowed me to explore this side of me that wasn't so serious that's just like whatever you know or you know ignorant as as i would consider um i think you know that type of music allows you to explore different facets of yourself and you know as you continue to grow or whatever you should definitely continue listening to different music that um that allows you to i'm gonna pause real quick there's an ac my ac is making a noise all right so my old man my old man has started working on the ac right now um i'm gonna let him do it because fuck dude it's hot as balls in here um you know, bad timing, but it is what it is, you know? Fucking the other day, actually, yeah, I don't know, he's confusing. The other day, we went to a Black Fridays, which if you don't know what a Black Fridays is, it's essentially like a, it's like a swap meet almost, except it's just junk, dude. It's like literally just people threw a bunch of junk from, I guess, like outlet shops or, or Amazon rejects and they just put them in these bins and a bunch of people go in there and and search for them and search for like whatever they want or need or whatever and you know it's supposed to be like really cheap right the the sell is that you know there's deals that are um 
like two to ten bucks or something like that and that's why like people just love to search for that or it's like it's almost like thrifting but in my in my opinion it's like way way worse right but my dad he loves that shit and he took me and my sister to go because he's just like a huge hoarder right he likes collecting a bunch of shit and you know he the other day he bought me like this fucking cup that <laughs> this automatic um like spinner cup or something i'm looking right at it right now um it has like what what is it like like some prongs at the bottom right and it's like when you press a button they spin and it's supposed to be for i guess like like mixing protein powder and pre-workout and shit it is so useless bro it is so useless to me i don't know why he got it for me probably because it was like two or three bucks or some shit i don't even use pre-workout i don't even use pre-workout i don't even use protein powder but besides the point um you know we were there and i, I couldn't help but like just observing the people around me right and it was just weird it was just such a surreal like scenario i guess because like everyone there was just so fucking like mindless almost you know like like i'm assuming they weren't well off right because why else would they be there you know dressing the way that they are but it was like they were just like digging through nothing you know and just like looking for the crumbs of something that could make them happy that i guess like to i don't know i, I again i have a very harsh opinion about digging through all this type of junk or whatever because uh, i'm definitely more of like a minimalist i don't like stuff <laughs> i don't like having like a ton of stuff because it's just not useful to me you know simple life you know I, I i would rather keep it very simple very something manageable right not like oh i might have this i might have this you know i'd rather say i don't have that than than have like a bunch of shit that i might potentially need one day um so yeah I, again like i have a very harsh opinion about this and i i don't mean to judge anybody but like i just don't it just feels like they're just like like clinging on to a glimpse of hope that you know that whatever they find whatever they find there something that again they didn't even know they were looking for will bring them a little bit more joy and i don't know man it it felt weird it felt like icky being there um but the playlist, dude, the playlist they had on at the store, I don't know who was there that day running the fucking playlist, dude. They had all this, like, like old posty with shit. You know what I mean? Like, fucking uh, Candy Paint, Sugar Ray, White Iverson, Post Malone type shit. I love that shit. And I was just, like, <laughs> I was just, like, singing and minding my own business and dancing around. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I was just vibing, you know? Uh, that was, like, the most enjoyable part of that experience. Just, like, Listen to some good tunes. I don't know who was on that fucking ox, but shit, man. They were playing some uh, some Juice World too. Who I'm not like even really a fan of, but um, I started watching like a lot of his uh, what is it called? Like his freestyle videos or whatever. Those shits are cool. Those shits are cool as fuck because like I don't know, man. Like he's just like he gets into it in like a very conversational way. And it's just so fucking cool and he can just go on like hours bro he's just such a cool freestyler it is so like it's so inspirational bro like i started freestyling because of him granted like i still suck but <laughs> um yeah you know i, I kind of hope to get to like what he's doing to be able to just like be able to just be, like off the cuff you know what i mean I think that's so fucking cool. Um, yeah, but I, I think like a lot of the issue that I, you know, I come faced with or whatever is just finding subject matter, finding shit to say. Oftentimes I'll say a whole bunch of nothing 
and you know I'm trying to like come up with punchlines every now and then which I do but not enough in my opinion I'm really like a punchline type of guy right like I love that's the reason I love little Wayne too he's he's real like he just got the fucking punchlines and it's all with him it's like one after the other so I love the fuck out of that but it's gonna take years for me to ever you know reach that level right so for now like even just freestyling or whatever I'm just trying to formulate a story or a sentence at least <laughs> um a fucking I feel like that's where like Juice World kind of has it easy with his 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 certain experience or whatever you know like he's so dope he gets to talk about something dope um he's from Chicago he he's into like gang culture um he's probably shot some people I'm sure so he gets to talk about that type of shit. He gets money. He gets tons of money, tons of bitches. He gets to talk about all that shit. And it just, it it, it sounds cool when he says it, <laughs> right? But, um, you know, as, as someone in my shoes right now, I struggle to find shit to talk about. I'm not sure if y'all can actually hear that, but it's, very loud so i'm assuming you guys can't hear the ac or whatever um but you know what i think that's like the perfect time to to stop anyways yeah because i'm i'm out of shit so you know hope you guys enjoyed today's episode um you know i kind of had some conversation about perspective and some about uh freestyle i guess i don't know but that's episode two.